Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today I'm going to be breaking down a weekend league game that I played on yesterday's stream. If you have not seen yet the video that I did on this offense that I'm going to be running in this gameplay, make sure to go check out that video and also hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're interested in the rest of the scheme. In the Patriots offense there are at least 4 more formations that I want to break down that are really really overpowered and you guys should definitely check that out. And also make sure to give my Twitch channel a little... A uh, bit of support go follow down there i'm going to be streaming tonight as well i'm going to be playing some weekend league and also some games against you but yeah let's get into the game the game attack that i was playing against Expelenciagas is not a game attack that i'm familiar with i don't know him so i don't know uh, what to expect going into it gonna um get some energy first and yeah so i'm starting off with the ball which is not something that i like to do i personally love getting the ball in the second half and kicking off first so that way i have a chance to show off my defense i can't control it got unlucky there with the coin flip apparently getting the ball and you know i'm not too comfortable at this point with the new offense yet i have not played many games online with it uh until this point so yeah, but I also don't know what, what, I, what to expect, so I'm not too nervous. Sending my audibles right here. Also going to set the audible for a kind of slot offset. My plan for this game was to audible between a slot offset and single back ace close. Just to make sure to have a balanced attack because it's really good to run the ball out of ace close. And passing the ball is obviously a lot easier out of shotgun formations, such as gun a slot offset. Make sure to go check out that video if you want to know how what I ran uh, during this gameplay anyway it's just gonna run the ball at first and actually show off some good stick yay can't make a miss though still get 20 yards at uh, 20 yards and at this point i'm very confident in this run because he has he can't run a big nickel over g against it because there will always be a weak side the cornerback is can only be on one side me knowing that i know that i'm gonna have success running the ball out of ace close against his, his defense now I'm just gonna escape, whoop, spin, and that's something that I've noticed actually, maybe it's a glitch, I don't know. I have not fumbled after a spin with Michael Vick yet, and yes, that is the golden ticket Michael Vick. I had 5 million coins, he was down to 4.78, I saw um, that I Robert Griffin III, another golden ticket quarterback, was not nearly as good as this Michael Vick, and knew that Vick was gonna bounce back, and I just bought him, and I, 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 I'm, I can't speak. I made 1 million coins in profit if I sold it today. So that was a really good investment. And I know that this is going to be the quarterback uh, all this the rest of the year for me. He's that good. Now I'm running the ball very effectively. Already at his 31 yard line. So that's where I want to be at. I'm going to continue to use the ground game. But now I actually want to pass. Because people in chat, I don't want to just run the ball all the time. I want to make it entertaining. Go to this cover 3 beater. And it's just wide open. Again, go check out the video if you want to know how to run this offense. You're way behind the eight ball if you don't know this kind of stuff. Now, first and ten at the 17 yard line is red zone. I know that it's gonna, probably going to be tough to score, but I have the running game, so it's not quite as tough to score as if uh, as if I only had the chance to pass the ball. Don't make him miss right here, which is just poor stick. I need to, re I really need to get better with that because if I have a chance in the open field like that, I need to capitalize and I need to get a touchdown in that case. Now, second and seven at the 14, I'm gonna go back to this cover two beater. I feel really dumb for doing that right now because this really attacks deep. It doesn't be cover two that well in close. So I go to the uh, corner out by Moss. I try to roll out, that's what I know. Not quite gonna get it. I get lucky there. He, if he clicks on, that's probably a pick. I don't know if it's probably a pick, but it's at least a knockdown, so that was really lucky by me. I'm just going to put it out there. Sometimes you got to get lucky. They're going to cheat somebody, and why not cheat him? So 6-0, I'm going to kick the PAT. I don't know what I was doing here, probably switching the music or something. And yeah, that was perfect. 7-0 seven and 7-0 uh, seven right here. And I'm feeling comfortable because I've, I'm, I've seen that I can run the ball on pretty well. I have not had to switch to a slot offset once. So, good start from an offensive standpoint. I'm just now focused on, not, on making it a tough drive on it. I don't want to give him a, an easy touchdown. I want to see a bit of his offense. I want to see what he's doing. Smart avoids uh, Taylor Mace. If he was about to break that tackle too, maybe he could have 
I've been off to the races. Taylor Mays makes the tackle and yeah, everything's fine. I'm gonna make a couple of substitutions because I know exactly where I want people to be. Also bought Brian Dawkins, 98 overall on my team. Where is he? Yeah, he is. He's a baller. He's really good. He is really good. He's really quick and he has a lot of hit power. He's coming out an iPhone close. So immediately I was annoyed because iPhone close is really tough to stop. Although I gotta be honest, lately I have not had a lot of issues with it. I'm just setting my defense up the standard way. He gets nothing. Good run defense by me. And the thing with Ace Close is uh, Ace Close, no, iPhone Close, is that the runs are obviously really good because it's iPhone form and it's iPhone Close and you have the stretch in the uh, lead dive. But the passes are not too bad neither. So right here, I got the pressure. If he was about to throw anything besides the half figure with him pick, I think that that's good defense and I hope that I scare him because the thing with iPhone close is any run has a chance to pop. Third and 18 right here. I am in a good spot. I just have to, I have to, I have to get him off the field here. No other way. I need to get him off the field. That's a tough spot for him. And I just completely messed it up. Like bad defense by me. I should have stayed back there, been ready for the post. And he's going to do something with that post later in the game. That's really going to make it tough to stop. Anyway, long story short, he gets the first down. And he's switching to this to this Y off trio week. If you guys don't know, he's in the Saints offense. And this Y off trio week has a, has a good cover four beater. Which is why I'm backing people up. I want to man up the outside guy, my outside cornerback on Owens. Just to make sure that the corner doesn't get open the way it's probably going to. He's running very smart route, getting an out route, getting easy five to six yards. That's smart because he sees that I'm gonna send the crib at him, and if he gets sacked in a bad spot, that's when this, that's when uh, heavy blitzers generally thrive, because then you have to really get a lot of yards. Smart playmaker by him. You have to get a lot of time to get the yards by throwing these little passes. He's gonna stay on schedule, is what you call it in football terms. Another good football player but I know the term and that's very smart by him not taking any deep shots just making sure to get the R's constantly now he got the first time he's in single back wing he's already in a good spot thankfully I switched out of that camera angle because that camera angle is annoying to play with first and 10 he gets lit up so running the ball is not going to be an option for him or at least that's the conclusion that I would uh that's the conclusion that I would draw from this because, yeah, the run has not been successful for him at all. The only time that he was moving the ball was passing the ball. And I don't know why he's coming out in these uh, run-heavy sets anymore. It's, like, pretty obvious that I can stop the run. He throws the corner out. Dawkins, you got to make a play on that. You're in the zone. Stop it. I mean, maybe he was in a hard flat, so he shouldn't, even have, he shouldn't have even been back there. But still, if you're there, make, make a play for me, please. That's all I want. Make a glitchy play for me. Yeah. Now first and 10. At the 16 yard line. I'm in a bad spot right here. Taylor Mays just gets picked up by the offensive lineman. And he gets into the open field. And he gets a touchdown. What can you do? I think that my defense was pretty good at that play. On that play. He just made a better user play. I'll stick me quote unquote even though. Maybe it's a bit lucky that Taylor Mays got caught up. Who knows? That's for you guys to decide. Let me know in the comments if that one was lucky or if it was just a bad user by me. Anyways, 7-7 seven seven right now. And just to clarify for those people that are new to my channel, these videos, that I know that they're not the most entertaining, but I just want to help you guys get better at the game. These videos are specifically for that. It's just me breaking down everything that I, I was thinking during the game. Don't expect crazily edited gameplay. It's just me breaking down my thoughts. Now, 7-7. Seven he kicks it off to Okoye, try to stick a little bit. Okoye isn't that, he's not the maxed out uh, Okoye, so he's not that fast. N not expecting anything there. Yeah, the only thing that makes me happy is that I know that my offense has worked against him so far. And that's kind of something I can pick my head up about and just know that I'm going to be good to go. It seems like he's switching defenses. He's taking quite a lot of time to adjust. No. No. He's going back to that cover too. I don't know why it's not working for him too well because I could just run the ball to the left, which I don't know why I'm not doing that. 
I'm trying to get the cut block right here. You guys that have watched my Gunman book, you know what I'm trying to do here. It does not work out, sadly enough. And this is just me being a moron. Why do I throw that? That's me being trigger happy and also not feeling that comfortable in the scheme yet. Knowing that if I run for a couple of yards here, this, this office is not designed to be pass heavy. Why do I try to throw the ball deep? It's something that I need, I need to learn still. Now, he gets the ball. After me, basically, I donated him a free possession. Also, you could donate me $1,000 to maybe get a streaming PC or whatever. That's just a bit off topic. Now, I'm adjusting a bit right here. I don't want him to throw that out route, which is why I put the hard flat out there. I don't want him to be able to play maker back like that, which is why I... <clears throat> good playmaker, which is why I put the bird hook there. Good playmaker, just better play by Dawkins. This playmaker, I already can tell at this point that this playmaker is going to be hell to stop. He's just really good at knowing when to playmaker, how to playmaker. He was open, just gets lit up by Brian Dawkins. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I cannot give him time to throw that playmaker. I need to send seven people. He's going to get, he's going to have seven people blocking. And I just simply have to make sure, good play by him. He almost had a touchdown. I just have to make sure that he's not going to get the time off to playmaker him. Because even if he's going to block the blitz, seven one-on-ones. I have seven people going in one-on-ones. One of them has to win. And if nobody wins, then that's just unlucky. I, I feel like that's unlucky. He might uh, be expecting that. Now right here, beautiful throw to Moss. My guy wasn't out there. All the way, he recognized it. Good play by him. I sent him. He threw it. Yeah. What are you going to do? Can't complain. Good throw by him. He's now in fourth and three, and that's his spot where he can go for it. I'm pretending to send everybody. You can see that I'm not sending everybody. I want him to think that I only want him to send out three rods. I'm going to man up the playmaker with my linebacker, who's pretty quick. And yeah, I get caught up a bit too much because... For some reason, even though I shaded down the hook curl that was on the field there, did not play like it did not play the way I wanted to. He could have thrown the easy route, which was kind of like the out and then back in. It was not really a slant, it was like an a zig to the inside. He could have thrown that and it would have been the first down, so I had to cover that. And then I was just a step too late. It was a step too late to get back to the crossing one. So good play by him. I think that it was pretty bad because I would not have been that low, lurking that low if the zones played the way I wanted to and the way they're supposed to, in my opinion. But you cannot, you can't change history. Gotta move forward. And I'm putting, I'm putting this hook curl right here for the only because I want him to think that he can playmaker him and maybe throw it directly at me. Got the drag right here. He had sacked. The hook curl muddied up the read on the post and also on the drag. Because he thought that there was a person in that area that could have made a play on both of those passes, made him hold the ball for a second longer than he wanted to. He gets sacked. Beautiful. Third and 19 now. I want to sack him out of field range. He knows that. Throws the out run. Thankfully, he goes out of bounds because that saves me. That now saves me a timeout. And he's going to kick his field goal. After a free possession or after a dumb turnover like the one I threw, the pick uh, to the sideline, holding him to three points. It's not ideal. Obviously, I would have liked to uh, stop him for no points. But he gets the three. Yeah. Got to move forward. And now, got to cook up some dots. Or get a quick one play touchdown run. That's also something that I would gladly take. Yeah. That's also the advantage of this uh, new offense I'm going to be showing on my channel. You can run the ball out of this very effectively. And that combines... If you're running West Coast... Or if you have been running West Coast, I expect you to be able to read coverages. And being able to run the ball out of this and still making the crispy reads that you're making out of Gun Bunch. It's just going to be game over. I mean, not really game over, but it's going to be really, really tough to stop now. First and 10, 28. All I'm thinking is getting into field goal range. And it's tied at the half. He gets the ball in the second half, so that's tough. But then the game will obviously also be tied. So I don't know what I'm saying here. But, yeah. Minimum is I need to get three points right here. The anger rod was open. I run directly at who, who was that? It's number 21, maybe Sean Taylor. Probably not because he didn't hit stick me. Lucky that I didn't fumble there. This Michael Vick, let me tell you, he's good. 
He's really good. If you have six million coins to spare, go buy him. <laughs> but yeah, at the 36 yard line right now, I'm going to uh, audible into a slot offset. Uh, not quite yet. I think that I saw something I liked with the cover two. I just need to get the protection down. You see the corner is open. Beautiful. Again, if I were you, I would watch the video I did on this scheme. It's really good. At the 23 yard line now, I'm safe in field goal range. That's a good feeling. And I'm going to hand the ball off to the left. Once again, right there, I actually make him miss. Just with the juke, get, make the juke inside, get tackled. At, at least I made the first guy miss. And I also stayed in bounds. That's also very big because now the clock keeps running and he's not going to have that much time when and if he gets the ball back. Second and one. I want to audible into a little bit of a slot offset just because yeah, I felt like it. Not because I knew there was a better play. I just wanted to give him a different look. He's been running cover two pretty much all game and I want to run a cover two beater. And he runs cover two inward. Like what? That was such a bad, that was such bad defense. Streak is open for a touchdown. I'm going to take that. Almost didn't get him bounce right there, which was crucial to get my feet in. But I get the touchdown. Up four points now. Yeah. I'm thinking that he's probably going to get three because his offense is pretty... I want to say, one of these plays, he's going to get a playmaker to work. That's, why, that's the reasoning behind why I think that he's going to get at least three. Now, I can't give up a touchdown. If I give up a touchdown right here, that would be horrible. It's because then he would be up three points at least. Maybe four if he goes for two, but who goes for two? He's going to be up three points and he's going to get the ball coming into the second half. That would be pretty bad for me. Now, I'm once again going to try to heat him up because I don't want him to have time to get the playmaker off. That's all I'm thinking. He's taking a bit of time to select this play right here. I'm thinking that he's probably going to come out in Y of three a week. Just my, my feeling. He comes out in single back wing pair so i don't know okay i'm surprised by that i have i don't have cover four set as one of my audibles i'm just gonna uh, run some basic coverage he calls the timeout now i can set the audible for cover four just so i can audible to cover four you know once again you, you see me looking at this edge blitz since he came out in a uh, single back wing pair i'm suspecting that he's gonna run the ball probably he switches to y after a week I'm going to go back to the cover four. I'm going to send the heavy blitz. Once again, need to be aware there's a cover four beat of Y after a week. So got to remember that. I get clicked on to Warren Sapp. That almost went badly. Thankfully, Aaron Donald got in for me. <sighs> Up four points in this spot, second and 24. I also think feel like I have a chance at a safety. I got a small hope for safety. Look at this. What? What was that? Look at that again. He just completely whiffs. He's at the 42 yard line. He's out of bounds. That went as perfect for... <laughs> that went as perfect as it possibly could have gone for him. Yeah. He's now almost in field goal range. I'm sending both outside linebackers just to make sure that I have some good containment. He runs the same play that he ran the last time. But he runs it with a playmaker. That's so tough to stop, let me tell you. He outruns everybody. He goes out of bounds for a gain of nothing. So I'm like, okay, 11 seconds. I want to play aggressive because I know that I'm not going to give up a touchdown from here. I just need to sack him. I need to put him under pressure, lurk the first couple of reads, and then the pressure is going to come in so to where he's not going to have time to throw a deep post or something like that to burn, to burn me. I'm going into big dime more for six. No, I'm not actually, because I want I don't want him to have the ability to run the ball on me as easily and just get a touch. Uh, get it get a lot of yards. So right here, I send the spy that sends the nearest person to the quarterback. That was the deep zone. He goes after the quarterback. And yeah, it's a touchdown. So that was poorly managed by me i'm not gonna lie that was totally my fault it's no game mechanic fuck up that's just me making a dumb decision i was really pissed in the stream you guys that were there you know that i was not having that was not a 
my highest moment. I have five seconds. I'm not going to get anything. So he's going to be up three and he's going to get the ball in the second half. <sighs> yeah. Pretty frustrating, right? No. <sighs> There's not much else for me to say. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to try to run the ball one time. That's my thinking at this point. And just try to pop one. Knowing that it's probably, it's very unlikely. Just gonna take a shot. Koye is not gonna make too many moves. Have one second left on the clock. Let's see if I can get anything. Running, probably stretch or something like that. And then just getting into the half. You can see that I'm still frustrated with me because giving up seven points right there is very poor. It's very unnecessary. If I had avoided that, then I would be in a way better spot starting into the second half. Getting blocked, trying to make a couple of moves. Yeah, not didn't work out too well. No, he gets the ball, like I said, in the second half. Up three points, getting the ball, very tough. Also, now that we can take a little break, please subscribe if you haven't already. <sighs> Up three points, he gets the ball. Very good spot for him. He's thinking that he wants to take as much clock with him as possible and at least get a field goal so that I have to score a touchdown. Good moves by him, can't lie. Very, very good stick. Gets to 26. And he probably wants, my thing is that he probably wants to run the ball because his offense hasn't been pretty the first half. That last touchdown he got was really lucky by him. So I'm thinking I'll just keep doing what I'm doing because it's been working quite well until this point and I don't want to switch up too much. I want to force him to make these close reads that he's been making in the first half. I want him to keep making those, read, th those reads. Because that's going to be tough for him. So he's been making a lot of very close reads. Look at me. Look at me. I used it up almost perfectly. I didn't use it perfectly because what am I going to do? Am I going to anticipate the playmaker and then go back before the actual playmakers to get that pick? No. I'm going to wait for the moment and just be ready for it and just then completely turn around and... Not getting it, got the, not, not get the pick. That's piss poor. I I played that almost perfectly and don't get rewarded for me. That's uh get don't get don't get rewarded for it. That sucks. Yeah. At least I stopped the run though. Run is still not working too well for him. Second and nine now only get, gained one yard on that run. I'm switching to I'm not, am I not I'm not uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm very sorry. I'm switching to this big down one for six. Gonna blitz everybody. No, oh, I'm actually gonna switch to cover three. He gets a lot of yards on this run. Pretty lucky because it was a bad stick too. He, he ran directly into his offensive line. Third and inches. He's gonna run the ball, I already know it. It's just a matter of whether, matter of whether or not I can get the stop. I got a block shed. Beautiful, fourth and inches. This is now my chance to get off the field. I want to come out in big nickel over G. Because then it looks like he won't be able to uh, pass the ball, even though he still might be able to. I'm not sure. And I just want to force him to make a read. This uh, gun flex uh, of weak or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that read. I was definitely in the vic vicinity to make the play on that. I guess it was his only chance. He took it. Smart by him. I actually don't know if I played hard flats there. I might have. And still got the completion. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Now he's gonna run the ball. I know that. I just can't figure I, I just can't figure out a way to blow that up just now. At the 45, gain two yards, which is smart by him. And he's taking the clock with him. Very smart by him. He's playing the clock because it's not in my favor. He's chewing clock. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, these people, these people. I'm expecting a run right here, not gonna lie. He doesn't run the ball, which is great. And he finds the crossing route. Good play by him. Used every, any, uh, used all the time he had before getting sacked and threw it down the field. Good play by him at the 12 yard, 12 yard line now. I'm thinking, just don't give up a touchdown. That's all I'm asking for. He is running the ball right here. He gets hit sticks. Mm. Didn't have too many hit sticks this game, so I probably can't expect a fumble. But still, I'd like it. Like one of these times, maybe a fumble. Would be nice. Second and 10 now. 
finally figured out a way to stop the run because I saw that he wanted to b bounce it outside. Don't taste some hits a lot. I remember that play because, or that formation, because he's been running the ball out of it pretty much all game. Second and 10 now. He's running a very smart angle route. I think that it was not too bad of defense, but he just finds a lucky way to throw the curl route. I don't know what type of setup that was. It looked really chaotic. It didn't look planned at all. Just found the corner route. Corner route. <clears throat> found the curl route in the front of the end zone. I think it's a little bit lucky, but yeah. Guess what? Down 10 points now. Really bad spot. He took basically the whole third quarter with him. At this point, I'm thinking if I don't get a touchdown on this drive, I should prob probably quit. <sighs> he's, funny. he's kicking the ball off to me. I'm trying to trying to get glitchy with Hill. Pitch it to him. Don't get anything. Trying to take my chances at this point. I usually don't do that because I'm afraid of fumbles. At this point, I have to risk a fumble for a big play. <sighs> First and 10 at the 19-yard line. That's a tough spot to be in, especially being down 10 points. I'm still not convinced that he can stop the run, but I'm not willing to go back to it just because I need to get some big completions down the field. Protect, I try to get the protection down. Throw the corner out. That windup was so long. He had all day to get back to that corner out. The, uh, the deep half did. It took so long to get that ball off. That was really annoying. Yeah, I'm thinking of, actually thinking about uh, going to Gunslinger because I can't have that happen. That was wide open and he just took forever to throw it. I was so pissed in that stream. Because that's an open laser and he just takes forever to throw the ball. Even though he's got 99 throw power. With that long of an animation, you're not going to have too much luck. Now, he's exclusively running cover two. I know that. I know that. So this is why I'm bring, busting out all of my cover two beaters. Get the corner out open. Beautiful. <clears throat> this now gives me some uh, gives me some life. I've only thrown one pick. And he's just managed the game so well and gotten lucky a couple of times. This is how I can get a spot in, in the spot like that against somebody who I don't think is that good of a man player. Trying to get the double team to work. It's not working. I, I even ID'd him. And the goddamn running back just decided to... Mm, I don't feel like blocking him. So he gets into the backfield. Sacks me. Fumbles. Luckily Sanders is there to pick it up. And I'm trying to run the ball. <laughs> Do I get the first? Do I get the first? No, I don't. At least a good run to make that third down now easier I wanted to snap the ball one more time in the third quarter just to make sure I have a chance and maybe a big play don't quite get the big play big play but I'm in his territory so that's a positive step as well four minutes put your force up boys in the chat or the comment section and I see that he's gonna try to uh blitz the hell out of me everyone is crouched up at the line of scrimmage I'm just gonna throw a quick pass Gonna try to um, get a first down. It's not that many yards, so I feel comfortable. That wind up animation, voice crack, that wind up animation was so long, it took forever, in my opinion. It felt like forever to get that pass off. It was so scary because I was about to get sacked. And right here, get a little bit lucky. Bad stick by him. We're in the end zone. After completing that pass for a first down, I caught him scrambling. That defense is not the run, uh, not good run defense. Take advantage of it. Only down three points. If I can make the kick, I make the kick. Only down three points now. That's a good. That's that's very good. And kick the ball off to him, and I feel like I can stop him. I just need to string together a couple of good defensive plays, like I did on that first drive where 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 he had the third and eighteen. And I just completely failed to stop him. Right there, he goes out of bounds. Smart doesn't want to take a hit stick from Taylor Mays. It's just now on me to get a stop. I'm expecting him to come out in a pass heavy set. And this is why I'm preparing to run a big Nick Logie because it has a good run defense. A good run defense against shotgun runs, such as inside zone. And you can also defend the pass with it quite well. I'm gonna click on to Taylor Mays. He's gonna be my user. I spied uh, the left end, which is Julius Peppers, just to have a quick spy out there to defend uh, Patrick Mahomes scrambling. Got lucky there because he didn't pick up too many yards. Yeah, that's whatever. He's going 
back into this uh, trailer flex. I'm getting a bit adjusted right here. I want that mid read from uh, the safety that was in the Cloudland. He's going to muddy up every read there is. He's going to chuck it up and we're going to pick it. Let's get it. That was really big. And I would like to get some warriors there. Not going to get any. What you need to do? Bit unlucky in my opinion. But we're just going to just gonna keep fighting you know now i only need i uh, need three points uh, to get into overtime that's a very good spot for me and i still have a chance for a touchdown great right here i don't know how he stopped that run that was he's in uh big nickel over g that was cover three i ran into the weak side come on EA. stop with that please now i want to pass the ball a bit more because it seems like he's getting better at stopping the run and I don't want to give him the confidence that he can stop the run. I don't want to give him that just yet. I'm running a cover three beater. Just get the protection. I did not feel like uh, risking it and throwing a pass. I scramble, see the corner out open. And I was just a bit in front of the line of scrimmage. So that was really big for him. He got lucky there. I mean, I made a mistake, but he got lucky that I was the first down. I was in easy first down too. And now I'm in a bad spot. Third and 15. That's really tough to convert. I'm going to go back to the same old, a good old same old cover three beater that I ran early in the game. Swerve a little bit. Glitch out his secondary guys. Get in. Oh, it's fourth ninjas. I can pick up fourth ninjas. I can do that. If I can't, if you can't get, gain an inch, you don't deserve to be champion. Who said that? It's Vince Lombardi or somebody said that. No, I'm thinking when I see this to run the ball on this, he's not in a good spot to shoot the gap on me, I don't think. And I just barely get the first one. That was so close. That was really close. Now, 22 seconds before the two-minute warning, I want to use those seconds. I'm quick snapping a uh, halfback stretch right here, which I don't really like that call, to be honest. Because, yeah, I didn't even... He was in good run defense right there. I should have noticed that and gone to a pass maybe or switched from issues. I'll just, I'll just take it to, to the two-minute warning. I just threw away a play right there. Barry looked kind of tired, so I did not want to risk uh, running another play. And maybe because of him being tired and also forcing a pass maybe. Did not want to risk that. I noticed that he's coming out in cover three or cover, um, yeah, cover three and then base the line to make me think that it's actually cover two. Now he base the line presses. That's really tough because now I, I'm not sure whether or not the corner that I have planned is going to get open. It would have been open. I just didn't trust enough. Barely squeezing the curl route. Very, very close read. Gotta admit, I was, I got a bit lucky there. I did not think that was too open. I just took a chance and it paid off. Now, I'm going to try to run the ball again. It doesn't work. I don't know why that's not working. I have numbers to the left. It's so obvious. It's painfully obvious that I have numbers to the left. And it just doesn't work. I'm going to switch from H's now. Because. Yeah, I have to. He's stopping this ace close. I have pretty well right now. And I feel like I have a shot. I have a better shot out of this. I'm gonna get sacked. I had the angle route. Why don't I take the angle route? That's what I'm talking about. I've not been running this formation for very long. Which is. Which means that I'm not that comfortable in it yet. I'm gonna flip the play. Try to attack him with a cover two beater. He's just all over it. I don't know why I threw it. That was just all around poor. He gets the pick with Ronnie Lott, and I have 58 seconds. I just threw the game away pretty much. But I still have life. Three timeouts, maybe I can get something going. Get a stop, get the ball with around 40 seconds left. That would be the ideal scenario. Without any time as well, that, that would still be tough. I'm expecting run right here just because it's it's time to run the football. It's time to close down, run the football. He gets punched in the mouth. Still gains three yards, but he gets punched in the mouth. So I still think maybe I can get a fumble. Then I wouldn't even have to get a stop for four downs. But it's a very slim chance for me to get a fumble. So I basically need to, need to, need to, need to lock up. He's coming out of an iPhone close. This has not worked for him at all. I'm setting up a little bit of coverage. Right here. He sends out the running back on the wheel. I don't know why he doesn't hit him. He had the running back wide open. If he had thrown that ball, it would have been 
a third and short. Now it's a third and 15. And I'm gonna adjust the same thing. I'm just gonna protect the sticks to make sure that every coverage uh, goes all the way to the sticks. And I lurk him. And I lurk him perfectly. He doesn't, I don't get the pick. He, he gains four yards. He's gonna kick the ball over to me. Uh, Gus Edwards or whatever the punter is called. He's gonna put a boot into it and gonna give me a chance to at least get field goal range. I'm not expecting to square a touchdown, but I feel like I can get into field goal range pretty easily. Right there, burn off a couple of seconds, which is tough for not getting anything else, but just gotta risk it. Maybe it's gonna pan, pay off, maybe it's not gonna pay off. I'm going into a slot offset. I want to signal to him that I'm gonna pass the ball. I don't want to, but I have to. I have to pass the ball now. Yeah, he's coming out in cover two again. I don't know why I would come out in cover two. I really don't. Because it's not the move. Apparently, I've shown that I can beat cover two. Run cover three or something. Gonna try to uh, get something open right here. I'm gonna just chuck up an idiot pass. That was so dumb. That was so bad. I could have been picked. The game would have been over. That was so dumb of me. Yeah, coming out in ace slot offset once again. This is pretty much my only hope. I only have 28 seconds. Thankfully, though. The clock does not, uh, you, you only have a two second runoff if you want to no huddle and spike the ball inside with a two minute warning. Second and 10 now, I'm once again going to try the, to run the corner out just because he has not stopped it yet. And I don't know why it's been open all the time. He's not covered and I get out of bounds perfect. So I don't even have to waste it down in two seconds. Beautiful. Now, um. I basically need about 11 yards of field goal range for my kicker, which I, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable getting. 11 yards, that's something that's manageable. I'm going to almost get sacked, going to playmaker up my tight end and spin a little bit because I'm a moron, and that's field goal range. Going to no huddle, go to spike, go to obviously spike the ball, stop the clock by doing that, and take my chance at a field goal. Am I clutch? Am I going to miss the field goal? Probably not because I have clutch kicker and focus kicker. But still, it's a high pressure moment that, at that point. Because I basically came, came all the way back on him. And I just got to I just gotta put a boot into it and get the game tying field goal. And the meter goes down. Not perfect, but I, I don't think that he's going to block. I probably should have held it to be perfectly, uh, to, be, to be a bit safer. Very calm. Very cool. He wins the toss. Bad. Very bad. Because I have not stopped his offense. Really. In a, I haven't stopped his offense at all this game. Yeah. I would love to have the ball. Just because then I would have all the time in the world. I could run the ball. Mm. That would just sound beautiful. But I can't. I can't. He's going to get the ball first. I just need to hold him to a field goal. Because I don't think that I'm going to hold him for zero points. I just... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I I need to hold him to a field goal. Yeah, that was what that was really dumb a dumb way of saying that. First and ten at the 25, he's coming out in YFG week again. And remember, he's gonna look to playmaker Um Tory Holt. So I'm not manning him up just yet because I don't want him uh, to have too much attention on him. I should have manned him up because now he gets all the time in the world. He gets a playmaker to go. And I basically have to choose to want to give up the crossing round or the playmaker. I choose the crossing round. Takes the playmaker very smartly. Not getting a hit stick neither, which is sad. And that was a good play by him. Now I think I ha now I have I've had enough. I'm gonna He's running a screen. Who runs the screen? He almost got out there. He's a lot of yards. But now I'm gonna man up that playmaker Tory Hold. Because he's basically the guy that's always running in front of Patrick Mahomes' face. I don't want to give him that anymore. I've had enough of it. He's coming out in eye from tight. He's going to try to run the ball. He still has two clock on for why I don't know. Second and inches. He's going to ID me probably. He gets a big run. At this point, I looked away from the screen because I thought that the game was over. He outsticks me almost there. I make the tackle. That's so big. So now I still have a chance to maybe stop him. He's at the three yard line and basically I know that he's going to run the ball three downs, possibly. <sighs> Very stressful game up, up until this point. I was really nervous. He's coming out in uh, 
got an empty trio. I came out in the wrong defense there. I wanted to be in big nickel. I came out in big dime. Very important to burn that time out, time out right there. I don't want to be in the wrong defense at this point in the game. I'm gonna spy. I'm gonna spy Julius Peppers. He runs uh, jet sweep toss uh, flip or whatever. I don't. I don't exactly know what the play, play is called. He runs some sort of um, jet sweep. We blow that up two yard loss. Now, I, I still expect him to run the ball. Even though he's come out in the past, he was ready. A pass already. And right now, I'm thinking he's gonna pass the ball just because he has been pretty ha pass happy lately. He sees nothing. Good defense by me. I was so pumped, you guys. I was so pumped because I almost lost the game because of that breakaway run. And now I have a chance to get a stop. Third and goal now. He didn't see anything on second down. He's coming out on an iPhone close. I'm going into cover four. Because it still is. Quite good run defense. It's not as good as like um, edge pits one or something. He almost got it. He falls forward, which made me nervous because he might go for it. He doesn't. He doesn't. Get the field goal. And I wanted some coverage out there for if for the on the off chance that he was gonna pass. But I didn't want to be butt naked uh, back there in, in uh, secondary. Whew. Three points. Got the three points. I still have a chance now. And my mother is screaming in the back. Hopefully you don't, you didn't hear that. <sighs> He's going to kick the ball off with Zane, with Zane Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Going to try that same thing. Pitch the ball. Lose a lot of yards. I'm at the 16 yard line. I have to drive all the way down the field now. And I'm going to go into the single back. guys close obviously because that's been money all game pretty much. And... Yeah, now it's time to show what I'm made of. Gonna try to run the ball first play. Maybe can get something going. I do get quite a bit going to the 23-yard line. Maybe if I could have made a move there, could have gotten more yards. But I just wanted to take the guarantee yards, make this an easier second down. I'm going to run the ball again. Because mm. I wanted to. I want to show him that I have the, a run-first mentality. Don't quite get the first down right here. Gonna hurry it up. So that he can't fully sell out on the pass. And then my passes would be way better. I motion Moss out thinking that I could still flip the run back. Can't do that. Hand it off to the right which you never want to do with a left handed quarterback like Michael Vick. Thankfully get the first down. 14 rushes for 118 yards. That's a good average. Now. Let's calm down everybody. We got the first down at the 33 yard line. I can take as much time as I want to. Really, not an issue at all. He stays in this big nickel. I don't know why, because I've shown that I can run the ball on it, pre on it pretty well. Can't make him miss here. Still five yards. Can't complain about that. Very good. Staying on schedule. Second and five now. I'm going to audible into a slot Austin just because I want to keep him on his toes. Not in thinking that this is going to be the better play for sure. I just want to make sure that he... Uh, just doesn't know what what play I'm gonna run. I just want to be as unpredictable as possible. I'm going to motion over Randy Moss on this corner, thinking that he's probably gonna adjust to it. But I want to test if he has adjusted to it. He has indeed adjusted to it, but Michael Vick is way too quick. Got 99 speed escape artist. He's gonna get out of there. I'm six yards away from field goal range. Whew. Once again, I can breathe a little more relaxed now. First and ten, the 46 yard line. He's coming out in 3-4 out because he's thinking, okay, I have, I've had enough of this. I want to pressure you. I'm going to flip the run right here. Not get anything. Get uh, run into my O-line. I get punished for it, which I think should happen. Yeah, it's fine. Last two yards. Going to take it to the next quarter. I think, uh, remember, in Madden Ultimate Team, if you uh, take more than one overtime, or if it takes more than one quarter in overtime, you're going to get that quarter. You're going to get a chance to get uh, to score. <clears throat> now, down three points, down two yards, last two yards on the previous play, second and 12 now, that's a tough spot to be in, not gonna lie, I just hope, I just hope to get a couple of yards back here, second and 12, I, I can't get sacked, that's the only thing that I can do, but I still can work with uh, the whole field pretty much, that's what, that's what I'm thinking right here, 
Gonna send Johnson on the drag just to have another check down. Obviously, I have Barry Sanders on the angle route. And I thought I corner out and it almost gets picked. Thankfully, didn't get his feet in bounds. That, that would have been bad. No. I'm once again coming out in ace close. I need 8 yards for field goal range, so I pretty much cannot run the ball now. I need to switch into a slot offset and find one laser. I need to I need to get it. I need to find one laser. Gonna streak Henry. Gonna put Delaney Walker on, on a delay fit. Hopefully, no, I'm not gonna. Gonna motion snap him. I throw that streak. <laughs> Gets knocked down. Gets knocked down. So second and 12 now. I've not gotten anything going the last couple of plays and I'm really scared now because I've played an amazing game. I already know that I'm going to put this up on YouTube. I better win if I put this up on YouTube, right? So he's coming out in very pass heavy defense. I probably should have switched to another formation and just tried my luck with that. I'm going to outroute the, uh, Randy Moss just to have a chance if he's running cover four. He's using Woodson though on that side. He sees that. I want to throw the post. I was right near my offensive lineman and I lose the game off of it. <sighs> Very frustrating. Thought I had a chance of winning that. Anyways, I hope you had fun watching this video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. If you did, please reward me with a like. And if you learned a lot of things, also subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Make sure to go check out my Twitch. going to be streaming later tonight. Also going to put up an announcement video on YouTube. That I'm gonna be like uh, that I'm live on Twitch. Go check that out. Wanna grow my Twitch a bit? Gonna play some games against you and also some games against Weekend League. If you wanna see clutch games like this live, and of course, make sure to check out my Twitch. I am thankful for you watching the video until now. Hopefully you're doing fine with Corona and everything. Hope your family is well. See you in the next video. Peace out.